people because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times. So you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hey, listen. For the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye. Okay, we are back. Thank you very much, William Hamilton Morrow III, for your words of wisdom and doing promo. And hopefully, you paused and read the Bible verses for how to de how to defeat a conservative. But how to defeat a conservative? All right, and we will uh, now get back to the readings. I used to love Playboy magazine. Uh, not anymore. And yes, it was mainly for the articles. Yes, yeah, sure. Well, you didn't really see much. But I wasn't exactly repulsed by the pictures. Yeah, they, on, they only showed... Uh, 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 Airbrushed uh, uh, pussies. Air, Airbrushed pussies. Uh, you know, the, the you, di you didn't really see the, the labia. Hmm. Or the labia, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Volvo, Volvo, uh, uh, Peugeot, Saab, Renault, whatever. You didn't really see the parts, the prime parts. You just saw breasts, primarily. And, of course, gorgeous young women. All right, go ahead. You may find that an odd admission for an avowed feminist but I've always felt the argument over the sexual objectification of women tends to miss an important point. Yeah, but it's voluntary. Nobody's holding a shotgun to these women's heads. Namely, that sexuality is a part of life. Indeed, one of the best parts. So what's wrong in not, represent, not presenting women as objects of allure? What's wrong is behaving as if women can only be objects of allure. As if they have no place or value beyond that expressed by face and form. Well, you know what? The sex, the sex act only lasts so long. Eventually, you have to start communicating with each other. Oh! God forbid! And if, and if you're, you're not compatible, if you, if, if you don't have mental chemistry, you're not clicking properly, you know, then it's not going to work out. You, you know, I mean, uh, 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 you could have Miss Universe or, or a uh, Sports Illustrated model, but if you have nothing in common and, and you're bored and, and you can't, you're not really conversing and you're not, you know, you're not laughing together and, you know, uh, if nothing's happening after the sex act, I mean, what can you do? It's not going to really uh, go long term. All that's. There was a video, uh, uh, post up there on uh, uh, Facebook last night. Uh, demi, I think it's called demi sexualist or something. A person who requires emotions in his sexuality. Well, women, women tend to be like that. And they, and then they, it was a, um, it was a. Um, a survey. Yeah. So they wanted people to, you know, do you agree or disagree? Well, based on reality for men and women, you should there should be a mental chemistry. 
I mean, I mean, otherwise it's just like glorified masturbation or, or, or hiring a prostitute. All that said, I've been trying to figure out how I feel about the recent news that Playboy, which pioneered the so-called sophisticated man's magazine, will soon stop publishing nude photos of women. Say bye-bye to Playboy. May it rest in peace. Beginning in March, its models will be scantily clad. You might as well just get Sports Illustrated or uh, what's that man's mega? Uh, um, uh, um, oh, it's at the tip of my tongue. It's 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 a man's magazine. Uh, yeah, the Ill, uh, the uh, swimsuit model. It, it, nah, this is another one. Uh, uh, Maxim. Oh, that's like Playboy, yeah. Yeah, but there's no nudes in Max. No. Just scantily clad. Women and they talk about guy stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. It feels not unlike hearing that Disney World has fired Mickey Mouse or McDonald's has stopped selling Big Macs. I bet this is all the doing of you have this daughter. This sounds like a woman's touch, you know, but they might as well be scantily clad because if all you're seeing is nipples. I mean, well, you are seeing ass, but but if they got a tongue uh, bikini, you're seeing ass also. You know, it's like big deal. A famous brand, Jettizing, the very thing for which it is most famous, the thing by which it is defined. Well, it's that... been 20 years or more since I was even a semi-regular reader of Hugh Hefner's magazine. That is true. I mean, the, the, about the, the, yeah, that's very true. Apparently, I'm not the only one to fall away. In the 70s, when I first picked up Playboy, it claimed a circulation more than 5.5 million. The number has reportedly withered to about 800,000. Wow, shit. Oh well, <laughs> that's the way the crab cake crumbles. At one level, then, this is just a new iteration of an old story. Yeah. The decline of print. Jet Magazine disappeared from newsstands last year. I, I see where you're going with this, and I agree. Newsweek's print edition died, then was resurrected. Many once robust newspapers are now resemble pamphlets. Yeah, because uh, with the popularity of uh, smartphones, people are online constantly. They're online. At another level, however, Playboy's woes and its response to them present an interesting snapshot of a culture that, sexually speaking, pushed the envelope until it tore. At its founding in 1953, after all, Playboy was revolutionary. A frank celebration of carnal pleasures in the Eisenhower era. Well, when Lucy and Ricky were forced to sleep in separate beds. Yeah, and wearing their pajamas, having a button all the way to the top on their, on their, on their Adam's apple, I mean on their necks. And they couldn't say pregnant on TV. What did they say? With child or something? Or, or the, the stork came in visiting? The stork came a visiting? Years before Elvis scandalized America. Knocked up his worse, I guess. By wiggling his hips. Yeah, that was a scandal back then. Yeah. There was Hefner presenting screen goddess Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, that was a very, that was a conservative nude, very, yeah, yeah, that was, that was... Posing starkers and coquettish on red velvet. Marilyn Monroe, and then late after that came Jane Mansfield. I had that picture of Marilyn Monroe somewhere in my morgue, but I don't know where the hell it is. And Margaret, uh, uh, you know, then women, 
they all started coming out of the woodwork. Blondes. Peroxide blondes. What's but, that actress, Tuesday Weld or something? <coughs> but yes. Ursula Andress, a uh, uh, Brit Eckler. Yeah. It also carried titillation. No pun intended. And 62 years later, Playboy has been swallowed by its own revolution. Swamped by its own tsunami. They did a sort of a satire, a satire of Playboy on, um, and, 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 and Penthouse on uh, the Odd Couple episode with uh, John Astin played um, um, the, the president or CEO of this, this girly magazine. Yeah, I remember that. As CEO Scott Flanders told the New York Times, you're now one click away from every sex act imaginable for free. You're damn right on the internet. So why read magazines? Why look at pictures in a magazine? That's very true. Free porn is abound. It, it's, it's, many websites offer free porn. In other words. All kinds too. If Playboy was born in an era of repression, it has reached its ARP years in a sexual wild west of free and easy pornography that makes it airbrushed perfection of breasts and backsides feel quaint you know and anachronistic I was told uh, airbrushing is like the before and after of a woman you know uh, without makeup without cosmetics and with cosmetics professionally done they look very different like airbrushed photographs in a magazine the women don't do not have flawless skin like that flawless flawless baby you know and, and, and same thing with makeup I'm telling I saw photos of before and after celebrities female and they look like different women mm -hmm. more to the point it is an it is an era wherein the commodification of the feminine form is ubiquitous. The double entendre has become for some one entendre too many to bother with. And sex is everywhere, all the time, often tiresomely so. Yeah, it's anybody who has access to being online, no matter how old they are, who they are they can get free porn they can watch free porn so it's like I mean is anything left to the imagination anymore I don't think so one doesn't feel liberated from sexual repression that battle is over one doesn't even feel titillated one simply feels numb and then you have the religious uh, right-wing nuts that are anti-sex completely but except when they do it. Except when they're when they're involved. That's correct. They get caught. Mr. Swaggart. Mr. Swaggart. I'm, I'm talking about conservative politicians. Vitter. <laughs> on and on and on. Now who was that 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 Republican that that got this uh, I don't know escort uh, pregnant and 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 insisted on an abortion. And he was abortion. very anti-abortion. He was yeah. pro-life. He's hypocrite, 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 hypocrite. Come on. He, he want, you know, one of those Republicans that want to do away with Planned Parenthood and abortion completely. Yeah, who want to control your life? But You're not there. But when he knocks somebody up, yeah. oh, you got to get an abortion. I guess, you know, my political career cannot be tarnished. Okay, I get it. Insert tab A into slot B and it feels pretty good, but then what? Here's to enter, what does it get? The peg in the hole? Tab A into slot B. Tab A into slot B. Seven bells. The un uh, unanswered what is the whole world outside of sex. There is one, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna.
Though sometimes watching television or surfing the net, you might forget. For all its undeniable success in forcing a more honest appraisal of and appreciation for human sexuality, Hefner's magazine also seems the living embodiment of the axiom about being careful what you wish for. Yeah. 62 years later, we are living in a world Playboy made. And if anyone is having trouble doing that, take heart. Apparently, Playboy is having trouble with it too. Oh well, nothing lasts forever. Hey, 62 years is a freaking good run, no? For any um, company. Yeah. I mean, yeah. especially since, in this case, it's a it's a magazine, and uh, reading, unfortunately, you know, reading the old-fashioned way is becoming less popular with the uh, high technology to taking yeah, a backseat to high it, technology. It ain't cutting it, man. Well, um, the problem I have with online reading are two things. Quite often the font is too small for me to read. And it's very annoying to have to manually, you know, keep changing, yeah, enlarging, yeah. Keep enlarging the font mm -hmm. every time I go to a page. All right, number one, that's that. Number two, it's just the glare of trying to read text, uh -huh. yeah, large computer. amounts of text on the computer. online. It's so, so it's glaring. tiring. Yes, it's a strain on the eyes. Unless I, I, there's a way to preset the font on every single freaking page I go to, or preset the, uh, what is it, the, the brightness and the, the contrast of yeah. the monitor. But, no, well, I could probably do that to the monitor, the big flat screen, but but the, the, then there's the font. Hey, a lot of those health articles that people post on uh, Holistic Health Talk, the font is tiny. <laughs> I mean, really small. And sometimes I'm like, not only that, the color of the font, light blue letters with a white background. I can't read this. You know, anyway. Lawton, Oklahoma. Oh boy, I can imagine what this is. City officials are making changes to public library policies after a man who describes himself as a Satanist uh, reserves space for a book signing. At the public library? Yeah. At the public? You would think he would be at a Barnes & Noble or something. Adam Daniels, 36, founder of the Oklahoma City-based Church of Araman, booked space in accordance with library policy so that his client could read from the signed copies of Aramani Enlightenment. I mean, why, why bring that to a public building? Go to Barnes & Noble, for God's sakes. It, it's, it's I imagine they, you, you could buy it there. A book nah. that explains the basics of the church's non-traditional form of Satanism. Oh, he, he tweaked Satanism. It's, it's He's a Satanist. It's re, re, in other words, it's, it's a little different than the... Um, well, don't we have freedom of religion in this country? Yeah, if you wanna, if you well, if you wanna uh, worship butterflies and you wanna start right. a, you wanna start a, a butterfly cult, you can't. Nobody could really stop you. And get a socialist tax write-off. There's yeah. a problem. Get a tax, tax exemption. Tax mm -hmm. exemption. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. You'll get you'll get followers. Believe me, t today. When locals learned of it, they began registering complaints with city officials. Jim Russell, assistant city manager, said that Daniels was protected under federal law. And next Tuesday's book signing will go forward. But he said the library's advisory committee has drawn up a draft of new policies concerning book signings 
and public readings. Among the recommendations is attendee age restrictions based on the content. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely this is not for minors. You know, the parents would be furious. You know, uh, well, kids should make their own decisions when it comes to uh, religion. You know, none of it can be proven. That's the funny part of the whole thing. The scientists have found fossil-like hints that some kind of life existed on Earth 4.1 billion years ago when the planet was a mere volcanic toddler. You'd be surprised uh, what living creatures can survive uh, even extreme temperatures. Amazing. Well, there are some that live in the volcano itself. Living organisms? Yes. Now that is incredible. That is That's 300 incredible. million years earlier than it was previously thought life had emerged. Wow. Not only does that change scientists' concept of Earth soon after it formed about 4.5 billion years ago, but it gives them reason to theorize that life itself is more plentiful throughout the universe because it seemed to start up so quickly. Well, they're finding, um, they're finding uh, planets that have uh, an atmosphere and, and, and uh, similar temperatures and water and, you know, I mean, hey, the study was published on Monday in the Journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Now, there, okay, there is a, a possibility that um, there is life, other forms of life in the universe, but God, if you're serious about your Christianity, God chose the earth, the earthlings, to be his, the chosen people. You know what I mean? But there is a possibility that there are other different forms of Not life. Not according to the Bible. The, wait, the Bible says you're wrong. There's only one. The, the Bible says there's, the no, there's no other forms of living. Horseshit. Yep. Horseshit. That's arrogance. That's human arrogance. That's the Bible. No, 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 no. The Bible doesn't say that. There is no possibility. The Bible says there is no other forms of life. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not saying humanoid. There is no other forms of life anywhere in the universe. Correct. That's human arrogance. Correct. That's arrogance. I'm sorry. The, the, uh... Between you and... The... What's his face? universe is in decay because of a Lucifer and his time spent on the earth. You probably think that all the sightings Do not are, say I think. I, there are, de are demons in disguise. We People, don't know what they are. They are, they were sightings is galore. The Bible also says galore. Yeah. that the earth was created at the same time as the universe. That's something like 13.5 Five billion years ago, not 4.5 million. Oh, I could, I could dig that. I mean, billion. Oh, I, I could accept that, sure. Well, but the Bible say, says a lot. But to say, to say, that is not agreed to I by man. Do not, I do not think. But that's you think. The interpretation that there's no other forms of life anywhere in the universe. I don't think the Bible is saying that. What is it saying then? It, 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 it strictly talks about the creation of the universe. It mentions the heavens and it mentions the earth, but it does not say there is no other life anywhere in the universe except earth. 
Yes, it does. Oh, really? All right. Uh, yes, I, I, deductive I, reasoning. Really? Deductive reasoning. Here we go. Sure. Here we go. His perception versus oh, other people's perception. Stop saying that. Well, show me the verse. Not now, but I mean... There are many of them. You can't show me the verse. You just don't... You, you, you like the, the concept of knowing there is no other life anywhere in the universe. You just that's what the Bible says. No, uh, how do you know I the Bible said? says that? Because that's what it does. Well, that's how you interpreted it. No, that's what it says when you, see how, you see how, actually read it. You see how the fights start? Well, then I want to read it. Well, then read it. Show me. Not no, now. No, 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 no. Do you your see, homework. If it is prove all things, hold fast that which is good. James well, Madonna prove all things. That. Prove uh, it. Ah, Bill Eisenman doesn't do that for James Madonna. James Madonna does it for yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, buddy boy, you, uh, you, you, lazy. you mis, you misinterpret that verse. Lazy baby. You misinterpreted that verse. There are not one verse. There are many verses. That that is plain as, as plain as day. Show you that there is no life except on the planet Earth. You know what? After the resurrection, it's like, after the other resurrections, um, etc., like, like and me. some of those spirit beings move to the other planets, like, then life will be on the other planet. But not now. So all these lovely... The universe is in travail like a pregnant woman about to deliver. Humans... Have, to uh, ho uh, and boo Humans, ho. historically, have been shown to be the most arrogant, haughty, pompous, self-centered creatures have to do with the Bible? on the planet alone, on the planet. What does that have to do with the Bible? It's your perception, it's your interpretation, that there's no other life anywhere in the universe. I just said That's the it. Bible said it. it. I didn't say I feel like I'm it. arguing with, with, with Kim... Uh, 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 well, Kim, you're arguing Kim, in non-winning situation. With Kim Davis. That's it. Finito. No. I... I, Say I, you don't accept it. I want to read all. it. I want to read it. Read the Bible. I got to read the whole book to find The whole book. Stop being lazy. He's <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can create Bill Do not Morrow. Put me in can create now, you're all position, please. Older men, as God. part of male menopause, they have. Oh, to, here we go with these they, stupid explanations. They, they, have, come up they with. have to be right all the time. Holy shit! They always have it's to be right. It's not me right. It's the Bible. Your interpretation might be Bible. wrong. Bible. Does it say plain as day? Bible. Does it say plain as day? You're being a baby. Bible. You're being the baby. You have to wait. Does it say plain as day there's no other life in the universe except Earth? Absolutely, read it! It's not one scripture. The Bible has to have all the scriptures put together. The ones referring to the same thing. What, Here a little what, what and I, there a little. What can I uh, search in the concordance? What, what words do you recommend? No concordance. You have to read the whole Oh, sure. I'm going to read that whole big, humongous book. Oh, well, book. then you won't find out, will you? Oh, sure. Oh, Fine. yeah. End of argument. You know how many pages 